Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time for our full circle where we like to spend a little more time discussing some subjects that are important to us and hopefully meaningful to you. Well, allegations of sexual abuse have followed the singer as well as the songwriter R. Kelly for decades. Mm -hmm. But now on the heels of Bill, Cosby, Bill, Bill Cosby's conviction, the hashtag Mute R. Kelly movement mm. is gaining steam. Mm. The goal is simple. Stop playing his music and start investigating the allegations against him. Here are some of the tweets that were posted recently on Twitter by Viola Davis and other celebrities. It says to our fellow women, of color, we demand appropriate investigation and inquiries into allegations of R. Kelly's abuse made by women of color and their families for over two decades now. And we declare with great vigil vigilance and a united voice to, uh, to uh, anyone who wants to stand up and not be silent about what he's doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do you guys think about this? <sighs> Well, I'll go first. Okay. Yeah, because you, I mean, you've worked with him. You know him personally. Yeah, I've worked with him for over 20 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been knowing him for that long. Mm -hmm. I met him when I was 21. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't sit here and say to you that I have seen with these own two eyes. Uh -huh, those ones. Anything, these eyes. Mm -hmm. Those. That have been in alignment with what his accusations are. So you were 21? You were too old for him. Right. So, <laughs> wait a minute, I'm not done. Come on, Andrew. You're too old, so, man. You before you get to bed, you know, hold up. <laughs> I can't say that I'm I I'm a have... guest. I can say what I want to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm a regular. I'm a saying what I'm saying. So here we go. I don't... I haven't seen it with my own right, two eyes. Right. But I do feel... Okay. ...that if any of these allegations are true and the people on the streets mm -hmm. say that they are, mm -hmm. I do think that he needs to be accountable for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I do think that this movement is true. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, we need to pay attention to it. I'm not sure if muting his music is going to fix it. We need to do more than that. Mm -hmm. and, and in the same respect, we also need to, need to mute some more people mm -hmm. who are out here being um, uh, predators mm -hmm. on women. And, you know, I, I have to say this. When Hugh Hefner had the Playboy in right. you know, the Playboy's house, we didn't say much about Hugh Hefner, maybe mm -hmm. because all of the women were over age. But I remember uh, Kenya, Kendra, or was it Kendra Kenya, Wilkinson? Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, she was 20 years old, mm -hmm. maybe 19 even, when she went into the Playboy house. I did the research. She was born in 1985. The girl was started that reality show with him in 2005. Mm -hmm. So she was either 19 or 20 when she went right, in. Now, she young. is of age, mm -hmm. yes. but she was still a very young girl. And the same type of... Uh, women uh, uh, cults was still kind of um, the it was still kind of portrayed and it was still kind of perpetuated mm -hmm. and although it was made to look very pretty and uplifting but we were still looked at as playboy bunnies mm -hmm. so it was still very um, demeaning in, in my opinion now I'm not saying that it mirrors the exact same thing as R. Kelly but I do feel like we have to pay attention to all the men I mean Trump was on a, rec a recorded tape saying grab a woman by the let me mm. say this let, let's get so, all of them Selena, I know you, you worked up. with the man but don't, don't, you, don't but, that doesn't mean but, that I agree so and, and listen, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I'm accusing either okay, because okay. I recognize that he has not been you know charged he's yeah, not right. been in jail for these right. things but I saw the videotape come on now of of a man, okay, that I'm going to say looked 100 percent right. like Look R. Like Kelly like urinating <laughs> on a 14 year old, mm -hmm. and it upset me because prior to that, you got to remember, mm -hmm. I spent decades in radio, and Come I interviewed now. him, I supported him, I played the music, I mm -hmm. still step in the name of love. That's right. going to be a hard one okay. to stop doing. Yeah. Right. But but what I'm saying is, when you see it with your own eyes, it does change your mind because we have nieces of that age. Yeah. There, right. There's a few Joyers. things. Tom Joyner banned his music mm -hmm. from his show. Mm -hmm. You know, he's nationally syndicated, and I remember the argument from listeners saying separate the man from the music you, you know can. the music is good separate the man did we do that with Chrisette Michelle when she sang not at, at the all. inauguration event people no, we didn't, didn't separate no, her from the music are, are people doing that with Kanye West now because he said make America not great again they're not so so oh, they're, they're listening to Kanye listen mm -hmm. To me, if we can separate, not separate people from their music when we have a political difference, mm -hmm. then when there's a moral yep. stake yes. at hand, yes. then that has to stand up. Yes. That's well. a good point, Egypt. So, I appreciate that point. 
I, I was going to say, point. first of all, I, I think the difference with the Playboy Mansion is this, this was the women volunteered to be there. No one drugged them. Oh, no one's drugging drug these women. Would not drug with drugs. I mean, drug them drag. Like, no, no, one, dragging no these yeah. women either. So these women went, you know. And then I think the biggest issue with the R. Kelly situation is we've known about this for a long yes. time. And no one has said or did anything. Now, if you're going to go back and get good Bill Cosby, I think there's absolutely a reason to go back and go hell, what I say. hold R. Kelly accountable. accountable for what he has done. The rumors are not... Listen, when there's smoke, there is some sort fire. of fire. fire. I don't care if it's a small campfire. It's fire. not smoke, it's some, a forest fire. Come on now. The whole bush is <laughs> black fire. Twitter, let me tell you something. Black Twitter cracked me up because when everybody was talking about mm -hmm. Wakanda, R. Kelly tweeted, Wakanda forever, I'm on my way, and they said the gates are closed. And you are not well. Uh -huh. and, the, and the other one uh -huh. said, we believe you can People fly R. Kelly, come. just not to Wakanda. Not here. Wakanda. And another yeah. thing I want to make sure I mention real quick is we have to we, um, question, where are these kids mothers? Where are their fathers? fathers? Well, that's what I was Where are the parents? parents? And why are we subjecting our children, our children to this type yeah. of behavior? We well, got everybody's at fault. Time's up on everybody, mute everybody. And this is one of the reasons why Viola Davis says we're, we're, we're not standing alone. We're not going to stand yeah. in silence. We're going to rally around each other. Mm -hmm. And we're and actually, uh, they're even calling out uh, Apple, Spotify, RCA, mm -hmm. and, and other uh, of the, the financial backing for yeah. him to mm -hmm. just cease and desist. Just leave him alone and let him deal with this. And I think it's going to take that uh, in order to shine the light on his iniquities. If Absolutely. indeed he's done these things. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, because if you nip him in the pocket, first of all, he can't he can't tour. Well, he won't be able to record. He either. can't record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we won't be able to hear his music. Maybe the man is sitting well, down somewhere and, and he won't have a place to, I, I don't know. And to, sometimes to urinate on you, the, kids. the only way people are going to learn things is if you hit them where, they, where their love is. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to take stuff away from people. Hmm. You know, in hindsight, you know, whether he did it or not, if you did it, the universe is going to come in. Oh, absolutely. If he did it, it's a sickness as well. It is yes. anyone who's not he holding him responsible, responsible is also, enabling him. Yes. And also they're responsible as well. So if we had to take a vote at this table right here, I know I'm putting you on the spot. You can put you me on the spot. How many, how many of you say it. mute R. Kelly's music? I do. I say I, mute I it do. because I, I think he needs to understand that you can't do, if, if this is what you're doing, you're not going to be able to do these things and get away with it. Absolutely. So if, and I know that music is something that you love. Mm -hmm. That maybe needs to be taken up. But the and, and that's part, what the Me Too movement yeah, is the, calling the for. The unfortunate yeah. part, you're, you're saying that he is not going to be able to get away from it, with it, but he has. He's but, not. But, but, he's but not that's why, that that is why we but, need to stand together no, and united. Let me tell you, first and, is the crime, then is the time. Mm, well, so first, we're, we're acknowledging, we're standing up, we're, we're, we're speaking out. Now we're going to do something about it. We'd right. like to hear how you feel. Right. So send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms.